All right, well, talk to me about this. I mean, we now have over a dozen people who were either in the room or in knowledge of the situation who have gone on the record saying that the Goldberg story never happened versus uh, supposedly four anonymous sources off the record who will not share their names because, as Goldberg says, they are worried about angry tweets. Well, look, there's 21 people now that have gone on the record saying that this didn't happen, and there's a reason for that. Um, as an editor, I'm an editor at the Washington Examiner. People approached him, uh, told him about this apparently for anonymous sources. Uh, he didn't look at it with any skepticism. Look, if somebody brings this to me, it's my job to report the news. I would know that this story was going to do well. I would look at it with great skepticism, saying, geez, this happened in 2018. I mean, there's nobody in this administration that isn't willing to leak. How did this not come out already? Um, you know, it's a he said, she said, so you would want somebody to go on the record if they're going to make this claim. Moreover, aren't you going to check with the 21 people who went on the record now saying that it didn't happen? Wouldn't you call the White House, ask John Bolton, read his book to find out? It seems like they just wanted to run with the claim in order to help the Democratic Party. I know that in the past that I've had journalists or sources or journalists that had sources come to me and say, hey, I have three anonymous sources with this claim, and they were likely good sources, but I axed it. Because I'm saying, and he said, she said claims. If someone's going to go, you have to go on the record if you're going to accuse somebody of something. You can't just do it anonymously. There's differences when you're an anonymous source saying, hey, this happened and there's a paper trail. And then you report it and the paper trail comes out and so on, some definitive evidence. But in a he said, she said like this, the timing, it just smells wrong. And it seems like he made an incredible mistake, whether or not this is true or not. It certainly doesn't look uh, like it's true. And now the reputation of the Atlantic, if it ever if it had one, or in the media in general, is, is sullied and, uh, even more than it was yesterday. Well, I mean, this maybe shouldn't surprise us that it came out of the Atlantic.